Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. For those who are new here, my name is Dion. I'm a photographer here in New York City. I urge you guys to please come over to my social media, my IG, my Twitter is linked below. Check out my work, see what I do. I would just greatly, greatly appreciate it. Okay, so today we're doing something a bit different. Usually on the channel, I review um, K-pop idol photo shoots from magazines or their concept photos for their comebacks and when they release a new music. Um, but today, I decided to start um, implementing other musical artists into the series. I might even implement other types of celebrities from actors and whatnot. Um, but today, I decided to do Doja Cat for L Magazine, photographed by Adrian Raquel and styled by Patty Wilson. Now, I was scrolling on Twitter and I saw a few of these photos and I was completely taken back and that's why I decided today I was going to review Doja's photos for this photo shoot because I was blown away blown away um now I don't know if this is for just online or for a printed um edition of the magazine but I did get them off the website l.com um, and I'm excited to go through these photos with you guys. So yeah, let's get right into it. Oh, you're probably asking why I got my headphones on. I decided to listen to some Doja Cat while I go through these photos. I hope I'm not like loud though, cause I can't really hear myself. So I'm talking loud to compensate. Let me turn this down a bit. Okay. But I'm listening to Doja Cat's music right now and I'm just jamming. Kiss me, ma. Okay, first image we have this cover. I have to say the lighting, I see the catch lights, the lighting and the color grading impeccable this is a cover this is a cover i i'm it tells me everything i need to know we know that doja cat's a star and this photograph really captures that she looks starry-eyed in her eye i'm getting an old hollywood type of wig maybe like a 1920s type of like flapper girl wig type of situation and this big cumbersome jacket up to here i love a, a nice like consumed outfit type of thing like this is showing us and this brooch i i love this doja cat unedited unpredictable unstoppable and we love to see it okay so this right here I, i'm just obsessed with this lighting it is so it's it think about it it's it's dramatic but it's also very soft like i'm she seems very soft but very with the shadows make it seem very sharp at the same time and i love this wet hair and this pink is popping this pink is popping and this dress looks like a i don't want to say like a straight jacket but kind of gives that vibe of a straight jacket or bandage or um what's that guy's name from um soul caliber valdo i think his name is with the with the hands he moves like this it's giving me that kind of like a, like the, he has like those bandage buckled you know type of vibe i'm i'm into this who did the makeup though i don't know who did the makeup i like the very it's almost clean simple makeup but it's very like it's very highlighted i love it oh i may be obsessed with this image i might be obsessed with this image i this outfit patty wilson patty wilson this outfit you know what you're doing with this outfit this is it's giving me modern days giving me 80s i and doja's posing with this and this lighting is hitting just for, i love the shadows being all on one side of the body. Oh, and it's like the material is, I'm getting candy wrapper. I'm getting candy wrapper. I'm also getting candy wrapper with the shoulders across the, with the candy, you know, the wrapper at the end. It's giving me that kind of vibe with that. And these gloves, I'm, I zoomed in. I, I had to zoom in. Um, I'm not sure what's, the gloves look like they're half gloves, maybe. At least on this hand. I can't tell on the other one. I can't tell if she's wearing two gloves or not, but... It's like, it's like a half club, but like a crown or like a <laughs> some big brass knuckle thingy on here. That is too lit. Okay, so normally at the end of these videos, I like to pick out my favorite photo from the photo shoot. And this might be already it. Even though we, we have to get through the other images, obviously. But we'll see. This is, this is a great contender. This is a great contender for favorite image. Next we have... Oh, whoa. Okay, so it's... I feel like we're doing... It, it's giving me... The shoes give me like a decade type of thing, like a modern version of, you know, old school type of silhouettes and outfits. I'm getting a nine to five power suit with this. And I love the, um, this big old, what's that thing in Harry Potter? The little Quidditch thing they had to catch? Whatever that thing is, it's giving me a big old version of that. 
wrapped around with this Edna Mode wig. This is an editorial. The body language, the posing. Oh, I'm not too big of a fan of the shoe here. Maybe it was black, but it does tie in to the necklace, though. So it, it works. I don't dislike it, but I just don't love the shoe. Oh, come on, cone head. What is this look? Okay, I just zoomed in. And the, the structure of this, I'm getting almost Hell, Hellraiser vibes, almost. With this outfit, with these boots, and this pen. This pen, Alfalfa is shaking. Oh, Papa, where, where, where he at? He has not been seen since his photo, photo been post. <laughs> he ain't been seen on the scene. And I love this black and white. I love this lighting. I can't. I, I know I keep talking about the lighting. I just can't get over it. You guys might think, oh, this simple lighting. Okay, it's the best simple lighting. Oh, I, 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 I need to see the behind the scenes of this. I need to see how they made these photos because I'm getting so inspired. I'm getting so inspired. Oh, this is a 10 out of 10. Posing, composition, lighting, color grading, the outfit, 10 out of 10 out of 10. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? 10 out of 10. No, you're kidding me. You're joking. This is immaculate. You know why I love this shoe so much? Because I used to shoot kind of like this way back in the day when I was using artificial light. I have not done something like this in like 25,000 years. I've lost my edge on that. I've lost my mojo on it. I want to go back to it. But this shoe alone makes me want to go back to shooting similar lighting to this. I really want to get back to because this is giving me all the life I need. I look at the body language. That, that's just what gets me a lot is the body language and how it's the composition of it. This is very, very stunning. Very stunning. Obsessed. Okay, this image right here. Again, I'm not a fan of this particular shoe, but this outfit, obsessed with. This whole, I, I like how reflective the material is. It gives it more dimension. And it kind of, it, this dress might be just all black, but with the lighting hidden, it, it matches this, um, what's this part? What's this called? This, they're not ruffles, are they? You see the white part up here on top of the dress. It kind of makes it kind of a companion piece. You see some of the white in the, in the outfit, even though it's from the light, not from the dress itself. I think that's so cool. Let me zoom in. Oh, yes, Doja. And we got the rosy cheek, and I like that necklace, too. I love this wet, wet hair. I'm not sure which one I like the most, this hair or the like the, the Bobby Bobby, but both both of the hairs are, are lit. Oh, I think we might have found another contender for our favorite image. This outfit, the hair with the headpiece. I'm getting a slight steampunk vibe, and I love that for me, you, and us. This Okay, I love we have the this type of like what, burnt sienna brown type outfit, but with the accent of gold everywhere on the belt, on the brooch thingy, and then on the headpiece, it all ties it in together. Oh my gosh, again, the lighting. I like the backdrop. It's kind of a desaturated green or like a it, it's, it's, it's brown, but like a, a, a greenish brown. It all just fits so well. Y'all, I'm obsessed with this shoe. I'm obsessed with this shoe. It is immaculate. E immaculate. Top tier. 10 out of 10. I, y'all. Ooh, ooh. Okay. This image is giving me, you know what it's giving me? It's, with, the, with the bob and the um, hat is giving me um, a 90s vibe. It's, it's giving me um, real love, Mary J. Blige vibes. It's giving me that. It's giving me that. It's giving me living single vibes. Like, it just looks so 90s. Um, 90s black girl. That's what it's giving me. But it's mixed in with a modern twist with these freaking shoes. With all these straps. Y'all. I love this. Looking for some real love. I love this. This is everything. Everything. Oh, those pulled out, see the scene, behind the scene type photos they use in some of these editorials, I'd be living for. I personally haven't done that before, 
I mean, I post behind the scenes of my photo shoots, obviously, but I haven't done a photo that's the photo to be used, and you see it, a scenic set like this. Because even if you zoom in, it looks amazing, but zoom it out, I like it too. I like the on-set look. They're using this other hair light at the top, this backdrop, the red. Oh, my gosh. And this dress with this cutout. Morticia Adams, who? Who? Okay, so we have an alternative image to the cover. I love this. This big, massive, cumbersome, goofy jacket. Y'all, tell me this look isn't it. Tell me this look isn't it. Are you kidding me? This is everything. This is, what? What is this? <sighs> oh, seeing this dress from this side, this angle, the, seeing this details makes me love it even more. Makes me love it even more. This is impeccable. This is impeccable. I love the posing. I love how the dress looks with the lighting. How it, it's just hitting. It's hitting just right. I'm getting so inspired. I I don't think I've ever worked. I mean, I worked with some really good stylists, but I, it's been such a long time since I worked with a stylist that's like elevated like this. And I kind of want to find someone in New York to kind of just go off and go ham. I want to go off and go ham. Because look at this. Tell me you're not inspired. Tell me you're not inspired. You can't. You can't, you're lying if you say that. You're. This is inspiring. This is, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I love this. All right, y'all, that was the last image. Time to go through and pick which image of the whole shoot is our favorite of them all. There's so many. There's so many favorites. Okay, I'm gonna have to go with the one I originally was loving a lot. It has to be this one. I just love this look so much. I love this posing so much. I love the, everything about this I'm obsessed with. I'm obsessed with this. I'm obsessed with this. This is so good. This is so good. Oh my gosh, I'm ready to do some photo shoots. I'm ready. I My body is ready. All right, y'all. Let me know what you guys think of these photos. Which photo is your favorite? Um, is there any other uh, rap star, pop girls, or any other musicians I should check out from um, the recent years? Or even some old school ones. We can go back in time, do some old school stuff from early 2000s maybe from um, our favorite artists. Let me know below who I should check out. Um, if you enjoyed this video, let me know by giving it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.